All right. Hi, fourth grade. Thank you for joining me again for another lesson. Um, we are going to continue with our career exploration for National Career Development Month. Um, and I'm going to pick up where I left off last time. If you remember, um, I was talking about how um, we are, we can have careers um, that really focus, help us focus on certain skills. And um, we can choose our careers and the work that we go into based on our interests the things that we're most interested in, that we're most um, excited about. And so that's why I was talking to you about different planets and how these different types of work um, come from these different planets. Um, and it's because we can categorize um, or organize all of this different type of work in this way and think about how certain personalities go into different types of fields or or careers. <clears throat> so let's go back and talk about a few more occupations. All right, so we're going to talk about planet A, which is artistic planet. These are people that are creators, people that maybe don't like to have um, a, a very strict schedule. Um, but and they like to use their different artistic talents that can be art in terms of like drawing painting but it can also be drama um music or even languages so um you might not have thought of this one but uh something that falls under the artist a job that comes from the artistic planet could be a dental hygienist I'm sure all of you have seen a dental hygienist before. They clean your teeth really thoroughly, right? And um, having clean teeth helps us all stay healthy. Um, and that falls under the artistic planet because these types of people are gonna be very thorough and they like to see the results of their work, right? After they finish cleaning all of your teeth. Also, last time we talked about veterinarians, but there's also something um, in a veterinarian's office, vet, veterinary technologists or technicians, or they might just be called vet techs. So these are people that work with veterinarians, but um, kind of like assisting them. And they might help prepare medications and administer those medications or those vaccines um, and help keep all of the different lab samples labeled and everything organized and just assisting with x-rays and all of the other work that veterinarians do. Um, another job within the artistic planet could be preschool teachers. So people that like to work with really young kids that are under five years old. Um, this room involves a lot of creativity, right? Because for preschool, it's not really sitting at a desk and learning in the same way that you guys are now, um, but maybe a lot of different activities and creativity. Um, there's also automotive body repairers. So repairing cars. So maybe like before we talked about a mechanic, but there's also people that have to do all the outside work on the car. Um, and repairing them, like if a car has been in an accident, um, they get to use lots of different tools, paint the cars, and um, just repair them properly for their owners. Um, also photographers, this can be a hobby, but can also be a profession. So we need people to take pictures of all kinds of things that are for books, to post on the internet, all those um, photos that are in your textbooks or in different places that you look. Um, we have to have photographers to take those photos and then photographers sell those photos to make money. Graphic designers. So, Anything you look at, if it has all different types of 
um, images and fonts and design, um, that involves a graphic designer. So magazines, newspapers, journals, which are online and printed, they all involve graphic designers and people that have to set it up in a way that makes us want to look at it. And actors, right? We all know what actors do, but actors don't are not necessarily just on TV um, for shows and movies. They can also play parts in stage productions or on the stage for different types of drama or theater. Okay, so also within the movie industry, we're going to talk about producers. So this requires a college degree, but these are people that work behind the scenes on shows and movies, and they work to um, plan and coordinate all of the different productions, and even selecting the script for the actors, so exactly what the actors are going to say, and um, making sure they have all the staff and all the people that are needed in order to um, finish producing a film or a show. All right, so we're going to move on to planet S, which is the social planet. Let's talk about some different types of work that fall within the social planet. These are people that really just like helping others and um, get the most satisfaction from that. So an example within the social planet could be waiters. Um, people that, you know what waiters do, but they have to make sure food is delivered to the correct people, but it involves a lot of people skills, right? When you have a waiter, you want them to be friendly and um, like make you be excited to be at that restaurant. So it definitely is part of the social planet. Then we have planet E, our enterprising planet, the persuaders, people that work with other people to sell products. So there are lots of different types of work that fall within this. So one example are telemarketers. If you really would be excited about sitting at a desk and making phone calls to people all day, trying to sell different merchandise, then a telemarketer would be the job for you. We also have um, information technology um, project managers. So people that um, they make systems to help people gather information using the computer and they create schedules. Um, they lead the work of all the different technical staff um, that are needed to make sure that projects are finished. Construction managers. So not only are there the people that are really hands-on that, wor that work in construction, but they also have to have somebody planning and directing and coordinating everything that happens at a construction site. Somebody has to be in charge, right? So they oversee the whole construction project um, and make sure everything is on schedule and they're following all the different safety regulations um, and meet the deadlines that they have to finish when finish buildings on time. And then finally, I'm going to talk to you about planet C. This is the conventional planet. This is people that really feel good about organizing. Um, and that's what the skills that they, <laughs> excuse me. Those are the skills that um, they utilize the most is to make sure everything functions well for others by using their organization skills. One, a really good example for this one could be librarians. So 
librarians have to know about all the books in the library. This could be at a school, at a public library, at a museum. But if you've been in a library, there's a lot of books, right? The librarians have to organize all of those books. And if someone walks in and wants a certain book, they have to know exactly where it is that they can find it. So it involves a lot of organization skills. Um, also, there's people that work with medical records. So if you've ever, you might not have seen this area of a doctor's office, but they have to keep all the files somewhere organized where they can quickly find them when they need them. And so they keep up all the medical records for all the different patients that go through there, file them, and there's a lot of um, rules that they have to follow to make sure that they're filed away in a safe place, that other people can't access them. Um, and when people want to have access to their health records, they have to be able to find those files quickly. All right, well, I appreciate you going through some more types of work with me today. Um, what you're gonna do next time is related to all these different planets. So there's a reason I went through all of these. Um, first, it was to discuss all different types of work that are out there and for you to start thinking about how we can use our skills and our abilities within the um, types of work that we pursue. So like myself and your teachers, um, the planet that teaching falls under is the social planet because we really like to interact with other people um, and it's important for us. That's how we're happy in our job. But that doesn't mean that's for everybody, right? That's why all across the world, people end up working in so many different types of jobs. And ideally, or what would be best is working in a job that makes you happy and that where you can grow and you leave work feeling really good about everything that you do. So next time um, we are going, I'm going to have you complete what's called an interest profiler. And that is going to take, um, it won't take you very long and you get to answer different questions about yourself and your personality, what things you like to do, what things you don't like to do, and then it's going to give you different job ideas that might be um, jobs that you're interested in or jobs that you would be good at. All right, so I hope you're looking forward to next week. That's what we'll be able, I'll teach you how to complete that and you'll have some time to explore that a little bit. Okay. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.